Hi and welcome back. Welcome back. Hi and welcome back for a new video. <laughs> Hi guys and welcome back for a new video. Today I'm going to talk about blush. And I know some of you, maybe a lot of you, are kind of curious about this brand. So um, before starting anything, I'm going to say that I was not paid by the brand or anything sponsored, blah blah blah. blah. Um, no, I just, I was curious as well. So three months ago, I went to the store in my town and I just talked to a salesman. salesman. I was like, you know, do you have something to, you know, advise me, some products that people like in general um, that I should, uh, you know, try. The guy was so, so nice with me. He um, actually, I bought, I think, three products. I think so, yeah, I bought a few products, but he actually gave me samples of different products that I could try and, and on which I could give my opinion. So I have a few products um, and actually I had to do this video a long, long time ago but as you may know by now, I had so many exams I couldn't. But I kept on this Lush routine using Lush products on my face and body and all and so yeah, I really wanted to do a different routine that um, you might have seen my skincare routine video so I changed that but I'm not like an all natural girl like I don't I'm not really crazy about natural makeup and stuff like that but I wanted to try because you know skin <clears throat> is something really fragile and um, you know I don't think that natural products can cause um, damage to your skin so I was like why not so I'm going to show you my favorite products and maybe talk after about those who those which I disliked a bit. My first favorite one is this baby. It's actually a um, cleanser. Cleanser. I I call it a scrub actually because it's not smooth. Sorry, I'm just going to start by the beginning. So that is called Let the Good Times Roll. This is the weirdest product I've ever tried in my entire life. Like really, just because um, there are some chunks of popcorns. This one is actually really full because I used, I, and I still use, the sample um, that um, this guy gave me and I still can't get through it because it's it's kind of big. So um, yeah, so this one is really full, but um, yeah, so this, this is a cleanser, they call it a cleanser, and I'm going to tell you um, what's in it, maize flower and polenta. Um, which are used to exfoliate, and then you have cinnamon. Um, blah, 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 what do you have else? Yeah, that's all. So basically, I always notice, like from the first try, I've noticed that it kind of smoothes your skin even when you're applying the product. So this is amazing. What I do with it is just I kind of take a bit in my hand, I um, drop a little bit of water in it, and then I just apply it on my face and then I wash it out. This smells amazing, like this smells literally like popcorn. Yeah, popcorn and cinnamon, basically. It makes the skin so, so smooth, it's it's gorgeous. Then, I have my cereal, oh uh, no, you don't call it like that in English. In English, it's called um, oat, oat, what? Oaty Fix? Oaty Fix. This is a mask. And to be honest, I wasn't used to um, putting any mask on my skin. Um, I wasn't used to do anything to my skin really, apart from moisturising. But yeah, um, so this is a mask and it's got bananas, um, vanilla and it's something I can't read it. It's Eulipi, Eulipi, IUP butter, oatmeal, almonds and kaolin and I have, I have absolutely no idea what kaolin is. It's basically for dry skin. I have dry skin. So it exfoliates, um, it leaves the skin absolutely soft and so, so fresh. And it's kind of my little routine. I put this before each video, before putting on makeup for a video, because I feel like my skin is absolutely glowing. It has a very, very weird texture, I'm not gonna lie. I wasn't liking it at all at first, and the smell is awful. <laughs> I am no liar. And it is awful, but I mean, the quality, like what it does to my skin, is just worth the pain. Okay, so for my new moisturizer, to be honest, I was really scared of switching moisturizers because mine was um, a French one from Lierac, and I was really, really scared because mine was really good. It was very rich um, in the sense that it moisturized my skin like 
I, I used it mainly in the night time, in the night time, but um, I really liked it and it smelled so good. And um, so yeah, I was kind of, <laughs> but I tried. I asked for a very very rich and moisturizing um, moisturizer. It's called Skin Drink, and it's one of the most moisturizing. I think I'm going to tell you what's in it. Um, blah, 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 blah. Nourishing oils and butters, avocado, aloe vera, and light rose and orange nearly. So I know for a fact that um, rose, rose water is amazing for dry skins. I'm not very surprised that it's very rich and moisturizing because you've heard the ingredients. It's all the richest ingredients in the world, like bananas, avocados, oils. It's like basically for dry skins. So I'm going to be honest. Um, I don't feel my skin as dry as it used to be. Like I used to have not all the skin dry, but like dry spots. I've used it for I think now two months and I don't feel my skin as dry as it used to be, really. Like I don't have these dry patches on my skin. I feel like it's very healthy. This is an amazing, amazing moisturizer if you have dry skin. I, I really recommend it to you. Okay, let's just pretend I have makeup on. I have to re-record a big big part of the video that was actually blurry, of course. So, next product is maybe my favourite. Um, it's kind of hard to describe it. I'm going to, going to show you. So, uh -huh, it's melting in my hand. So, this is called the King of Skin. And I can assure you, this is definitely the King of Skin. Okay, uh, I'm just going to put it on paper because it's melted. Okay, it smells good. Um, this is a body butter. Now I know a lot of you know body butter with a creamy texture. This is a marvellous invention. I am not the kind of girl that is going to get out of the shower and then just moisturise my body. No, I don't have the time. I don't. I'm just so lazy I just can't um, spend 30 minutes doing that every day. I went to the salesman and I just told him, do you have something kind of moisturising? I don't know, the best moisturizer you have in your store and he just showed me this and I was like well, what is that? He had a bowl of water, he put the product into the water or he put some water in my hand, I don't know, I can't remember, but well, there's water, there's a product <coughs> and there's your hand. He actually rubbed the product on the back of my hand and he was like ta-da! It was so soft and I'm not kidding, like it was insanely soft and so I was like okay I'm going to buy this. It has Bananas, avocados, avocados, I don't know, um, oat milk, and butters. So yeah, basically there's every ingredient that is more, like the richest possible on this earth. And sometimes I just, like, use it, I'm that lazy, yes, but I just use it dry. Um, about the smell, to be honest, I hated the smell at first because I hate lemon, citrus, and all this kind of smells. Um, I love vanilla scents a lot, and that, it smells kind of lemon, but like a sugary lemon, like a sweet lemon, so I can't really describe that, but now I am addicted to the smell. Sometimes I'm just going to smell it, if I'm like around the product, I'm just going to take it and smell it, that's so weird. Hey, I definitely recommend this, out of all the product, this is maybe this and um, the Let the Good Times Roll um, cleanser. I recommend these two the most. Next, I have a lip scrub. Many of you use lip scrub. I wasn't used to this product, to be honest. I didn't put anything on my lips apart from the bowl. I wanted to try this, and this one is called popcorn. There it is popcorn, sugar, sea salt, polenta. I don't know what is polenta. There's coconut and jojoba. Jo 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 by now, you know that I like vanilla scents, popcorn scents, <laughs> and everything very sweet. So, this is the best. Um, I, I don't think it's edible, so don't, don't eat it. But yeah, this is kind of good. Like, I, I don't know, I can't compare it to any other lip scrub, because I wasn't used to using this. But uh, this is kind of a good product. To be honest, I just put it on um, the shelf of my bathroom. And whenever I can, I just scrub my lips. Next, um, I was given as well two other samples, and I'm going to be honest on them. I no, there was like one which was called uh, it was a shower gel that was called It's Rain Man. So it was kind of cool, but you know, it's a shower gel. So it was based with honey. So 
my smells. A shower gel is not the first thing I think about when I go to Lush, obviously, because I can find it anywhere. Um, but yeah, that was kind of cool. And the other one, I'm going to be totally honest, I didn't like it. Uh, now, this was a hair moisturiser, kind of a, a cream, and it, it's called R&B. And I didn't know how to use it, and I still don't know. I saw that Kathleen Lights loved it, and I don't know, maybe it's like the texture of my hair, I don't know. But I just used it on dry hair, I mean not dumb hair. And I have curly hair, like very wavy hair. And it was so sticky on my hair, I didn't like it very much, but I don't know, there might be a right way to use it. So if you know about that, please tell me because I still have it and I still don't use it. It's obviously cruelty free, meaning that it's not, I don't think it's tested on animals and all. A good idea in the concept of Lush. I found that actually, I think the creator of Lush um, wanted to simplify like the tags. Meaning, for example, if I take this product, you know, on a normal product in the ingredients, it would say scientific names, so you would know what's in the product. He wanted it to be more simple, so he actually put the names of the products and not, not the names of the scientific, like the scientific names, on the ingredients. You have some ingredients that are better than others. Um, for example, I know that rose water is amazing for dry skins and that's what I use in my <laughs> skin drink moisturizer there is rose water and I think that contributes a lot I've heard about tea tree tea tree is good for acne skins like skins with problems basically you if you're curious about lush as well um, you should just go to a store in your town and just um, tell hello bless you I definitely recommend are you to go to the store and just ask someone in the store just to you know tell you about the best products and something that will suit your skin your needs so anyway that's the end of the video so yeah i guess i see you next time and don't forget to follow me on twitter instagram and all that i'll see you next time for a new video bye Show me all the places I've never known. Hi everyone, today we're going to talk about lips. You may have heard about the Kylie Jenner lips, the Kylie Jenner challenge, and things like that. So